Tonight, a twist from the James Crumbly trial finally revealed. Your Honor, my client is not willing to agree to the order. That judge's order limiting Crumbly's jailhouse communication. He's the father of the Oxford school shooter, Ethan. Now, sources close to the Oakland County Prosecutor's Office telling NBC News that Crumbly used threatening language directed toward prosecutor Karen McDonald. Crumbly allegedly told his sister in recorded jailhouse phone calls his goal in life was to destroy Karen McDonald. Plus, McDonald was going to hell soon. She better be scared, and she was done. The sources wouldn't say how many calls, but say they date back to 2022. Both lawyers spoke to us before we knew the details of the threats. He made a lot of threats. I've decided that I'm not going to give him any more of my attention, and I don't think anybody should. So it, talking more about his threats um, just gives him more attention. There's a disagreement about what was said and, and the nature of, of that stuff. James and his wife, Jennifer, the first parents convicted of involuntary manslaughter in a mass school shooting carried out by their child could spend up to 15 years in prison. But parents of the four children killed want to hold school officials accountable. And that means changing the Michigan law, protecting government employees from liability. If a school system wants to do their best, they're never going to do it because if they do something wrong, they're going to be able to hide behind governmental immunity. Parents have filed civil suits against the school officials who didn't check Ethan's backpack. The civil cases are caught up in appeals. Accountability is not just a word that we've been throwing around loosely. I mean, it's, uh, it's what, we're look, it's what we, we want. It's, the, it's, uh, it's absolutely necessary. Now they're calling for more, including a state investigation into the shooting where teachers are required to participate and legislation. Legislation requiring an investigation after future school shootings. Ultimately, what we're driving for is to bring out the whole truth. We can't help our children, but we can help the rest of the country. Adrian Broadus joins us now from Chicago. Adrian, you have some new reporting on what the Michigan Attorney General is saying about this case, right? Yes, Allison, her office releasing a statement today saying in part twice she has tried to conduct an independent investigation. In a statement, she says in both instances, her offer to conduct that investigation was, quote, soundly rejected by the school board. Meanwhile, as we mentioned, those civil cases are still making their way through the Court of Appeals. Mm -hmm. Allison. Adrian brought us amazing reporting. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.